What's up, folks? It's gorgeous. It's gorgeous. That's why I hate parking here. Son of a bitch. If it wasn't for that stupid thing, that hitching hole in the back, I'd be a lot tighter. I'm good now. Whew. And that's where I like to park. But this stupid in the hybrid Prius didn't pull up far enough for me to park. Fucking asshole. It's my whole life. Go home. Oh. Okay. Never mind then. My whole life has to deal with people and the way they park. It's the biggest gripes I have in, in this whole world. It's how people park. <laughs> Here in Boulder, and drive. Fucking asshole. In your Honda Civic. All right, what am I talking about? La verga. Shit. Well, I'm making repairs. I ordered some parts for that window. That handle, it's a latch that latch, latches it in place. Got chewed off. What part it attaches to the window, that got chewed off. And uh, the trim, the weather stripping around it, I was able to save all the little pieces and, and actually glue most of them. There's one spot, but um, other than that, it's pretty air. It's not airtight, but it's pretty liquid tight. So that's coming. That's coming along. I ordered the latch from GMC. There's a GMC here in town. They had the latch. No, the part that connects to the window. I had ordered from them, and I had to order the latch from eBay. Hopefully it gets to Colorado Springs by Saturday, like they said. Um, trying to, trying to stay, trying to avoid the sweets, man. Hey, I'm telling you. It's hard. It's hard. And here's the thing. Like, today... I'm like, maybe I'll just go and get some gluten-free cookies with my coffee. But I really don't want them. Like, I'm not even having, like, a crazy craving where I feel I need it. It's just... So I'm having the same problem I had last time I, I was staying in Boulder is that there's so many great places that have you know, okay, that have gluten free stuff that it's hard not to take part hard not to indulge because everywhere you go everywhere you go they, this diner over here has gluten-free biscuits, for Christ's sake, and gluten-free gravy. You want biscuits and gravy? Gluten-free? They got it. 
gluten free pancakes. Every every option they have on their menu, every every item they have in their menu, they have a gluten free option, and they don't charge extra. Other places rape you, adding two or five dollars to 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 the meal. Regardless, it's hard for me to avoid these things. Whereas, you know, I did 45 days of strict, strict, um, paleo and ketogenic, no carbs for 45 days and felt great. Since coming to Boulder, I've been, well, not even then, it's been, it's been longer than 45 days since, <laughs> it was months ago, I guess. Maybe she go there. I'm trying to figure out where she go for my coffee. I'm wondering if I even want coffee in the mornings now. Who knows, man? So this is the same battle I went through last time I was here. And I'm like, oh, I gotta clean up my diet. I'm gonna start eating ketogenic again, blah, 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 low carbs. And it's hard. I, mean, I'm, I guess I'd like to blame the location, but I can't blame the location. Blame me, blame myself. So I am suffering now from pain. Pain. Pain in my joints, pain in my muscles. All things that, um, like I don't even know about my body comp, how my body comp is doing. I've been under 230 this whole time. Uh, I can see when I, when my one cheat meal whatever you want to call it or day turns into the next day like it always has or starts a little early or like if I have a weekend like probably like this weekend will be where oh you know what I started doing start drinking like not completely overdoing it but hanging out with people and drinking which I didn't do for a long time. So you throw that in, you throw the food in, you throw the, the fuck it, just order regular pizza. Cause I'm, now I'm eating wheat sometimes. Which if I could control that, it would be okay. One couple slices of pizza or one pastry. It's not that big of a deal anymore. But you know what? What's good about not being a expert on this field anymore is that I can just let tell you that I'm suffering the same problems you are. Or other people are, or other people do. I feel like I'm out of shape. And not out of shape like I mean my waist is still I still have to get new pants, right? But I feel like I'm out of shape like if I had to run up that mountain, I wouldn't be able to do it. If I had to run from a from a bad guy or defend myself, I'd, I'd, I'd get winded and wouldn't be able to do it. And so I want to train. Keep it up here. So I want to train and get in a little bit better uh, physical shape. Not look better. I want to be in better shape. Uh, problem is I don't have the energy and my body doesn't feel well enough to do some you know I'll do some pull-ups I'll do some push-ups and stuff like that here and there but 
I do not have the energy to train. Something's not right. I used to run trails, miles. Not a bunch, but you know, trail here or there. Let me get this good parking spot, son. Ooh. It's off right there. So, anyways, that's what's going on, and it's all attributed, like how I feel, how weak I feel, how sore or tired or or achy I feel, is all attributed to my food the, 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 everything I've talked about is attributed to not eating uh, as well as I should or as yeah as well as I should or as well as I can it's been easy for me to uh, well here's the thing I just figured it out. I haven't been cooking. I eat out every meal. Every meal. Uh, I don't have a permanent camp spot, so I don't set up my stove or my grill or... Huh. That's what it is. Whereas when I was in, let's say, you know, when I was in Arizona... Um, or any anywhere else except here I would set up camp I would have meat in the cooler and I would have a vegetable and I, and even if it was just a matter of throwing a pound of grass-fed beef in there and some cauliflower rice and some butter stirring it up and eating it with a spoon I was getting good quality food I was getting I was able to control my carbs because I was cooking now, granted, I go to Whole Foods and I can get some smoked brisket, and I don't. And basically, what I do is I get either pulled pork, smoked brisket, carnitas, something like that, over uh, field greens, which isn't too bad. But the fact that there's so many options, like sometimes I'll eat, I'm like, man, I want something for dessert, and I'll go in and get a gluten-free piece of coffee cake or something. And I got this good ass pepperoni pizza. It's real good. Like the best pepperoni pizza I've ever had. Hmm. Anyways, folks, that's it. Vents in my struggles. My struggles. I want to get in better shape. I want to be able to jump and squat and everything's hurting. Everything's hurting. Anyways, that's it. Uh, that's all I got. Thanks a lot.